Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. It's Tuesday, and we've got one of this week's releases in my hands. This is Old Man Quill, number one from Marvel Comics. It's written by Ethan Sachs, and then art by Robert Gill, colorist Andres Mosa, letterer Joe Caramanga. Um, all right, so the old man thing is uh, is going along. First, there was Old Man Logan. Then we got Old Man Hawkeye, also done, or, yeah, it was Old Man Hawkeye, right? Pretty sure it was Old Man Hawkeye. Whatever. Also done by uh, Ethan Sachs. And now we got Old Man Quill, uh, another taking the, the uh, future world where the, the villains have kind of defeated the Marvel heroes. Um, so this issue is all about that buildup. It is a, uh, it's an interesting issue. Um, you know, a lot of hints as to what has happened over time. Um, the, the kind of position that Quill's in is, I think, kind of cool. The setup is actually is interesting. Um, and, and the story is, is decent. Uh, there's a lot of kind of old grumpiness about it. And uh, some of that still kind of plays towards the whole Guardians of the Galaxy vibe pretty well. Um, so I generally like the issue. The thing I don't like is kind of what happens at the end. I was, I'm hoping for something. I was hoping for something a little bit different than we saw with Old Man Logan and, and uh, Old Man Hawkeye. And um, I don't want to ruin it, but it kind of feels like we're going into a retreading of this that world. I'd rather have seen something else. Basically, I'd rather have seen that time frame, that world, in the cosmic world, taking... Uh, well, screw it, I'm just going to uh, spoil it. Taking uh, Quill and putting him on Earth uh, in that setting... It just it just feels like another kind of retread of that story. Um, you know, obviously we've got to see where it all goes, but I would have rather had it just stayed in the cosmos and kind of focus on how uh, the cosmic end of the Marvel, Marvel universe has been jacked because of what happened on Earth and that old man world. I think that's actually the the more interesting story to tell, and uh, you know we're gonna have to see where it goes. So hopefully we get back to that. Uh, but who who knows? Like it, it had the ending had a very kind of Planet of the Apes vibe to it, um, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll right say you know spoilers as far as that, and I'm sorry, but it's about the only way I can review it. Um, the lead up to it is, is is interesting. You know, we kind of get Quill where he's at in his life. Uh, we get a sense as to uh, you know relationship between him and, and the Guardians and him and Avengers and X Men and Earth's heroes. Uh, so that, all that I think is really really interesting. I just kind of will wished and hope that it focuses on the cosmic end of things uh, because we haven't really seen that and I actually think that would be a fascinating story to tell. Um, the art's decent. Um, I, I like the style. Uh, you know, it's again, it, it's it's hard because the old man stuff, the original story, the art is so good. The original stuff is so, so good. So everything else just kind of feels like it's kind of going through the motions. Um... So I think that's kind of that. the only issue is, like, the old stuff is just so, so good. It's kind of what we got to judge on. But there, there's nothing bad here. I like the character designs. Um, you know, I, I the people that show up, I kind of wish were maybe we saw a little bit more uh, difference in them as far as aging. But overall, it's not bad. I'm kind of intrigued to see where it goes. Um, and, yeah, I kind of think that's where we're at. You know, I, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good setup. Now let's see where the rest of the series is. It's out in comic shops this Wednesday. It'll be February 6th. Go to your comic shop, support them, buy it there. we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code, tell you if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We've got some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage of that. But doing that, you help support our site. Uh, but, you know, really, you should go support comics shops. Like, they are the backbone of the industry. Super important. Go support them. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for us up with the review cop. We always appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for watching. Now, if you are into Marvel, if you're into comics, if you're into Old Man Quill, Guardians of the Galaxy, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.